Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to take a look at the Legion of Shadow Dragon. So, we've been kind of calling this one the Shadow Dragon Army. On Global, they have changed the name, or they are officially um, translating the name as Legion of Shadow Dragon. So, um, this is a very good unit, uh, but I'm going to say this up front. They suffer from the same thing as the Sin Shenron EZA, where basically they don't have a good team to use them on. So, they're a good unit, they just don't have a good setup, and it's because... GT bosses, Shadow Dragons, like they just need more. Um, and they're just not properly set up. So this unit, just like the Sin Shenron, there's basically like no way to run them properly on a 170 lead. So we have to run them on a 150 lead. So that's the first thing they keep in mind here. We're only running a 150 lead, okay? So they are a GT bosses, uh, three key and 130 lead, which is decent, it's okay. But in today's game, you really want to be at least 150 to 170, right? So I re really want to run them as the leader. If you're going to run GT bosses right now, 17 is the best leader, and he's still only a 150, right? So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, maybe for anniversary or sometime soon, um, we'll get a big time GT celebration, and they really got to beef up these uh, extreme class GT units, right? Okay, <clears throat> so super attack effect causes colossal damage and lowers attack and defense. And then on the 18 key... Mega Colossal lowers attack and defense with a medium chance to stun. So this unit right there, because we're lowering attack and we can stun, um, very good for Super Battle Road, right? All right, and then the passive. Attack and defense 70%, plus an additional attack and defense 70% when performing a super attack. So once again, when you get that on super buff, that's going to be impacted more by support units. So we'll see a big difference when he's supported and when he's not. He has key plus four if the target enemy is in the attack down or defense down status. Um, so basically, if the enemy is um, debuffed in attack or defense, then you're getting a key 4 boost, which is nice. And then GT bosses, category allies, key 3 in attack and defense 30%. So part of what makes this unit so valuable is I think they're going to hit decently hard, but you think of them as like a support unit, right? The problem is, is GT bosses really isn't a team right now. Like they need so much more to be like a legit team. So that's the big issue he's having. It's not that he himself is bad in any way. It's just he has no team. So once we get that team built out around them they're going to look a lot better the question is is how long is it going to take because i've said this about other units before a unit like this that's pretty good right now but doesn't have a team they're a ticking time bomb because the longer it takes for that team to come out the unit's just aging on your bench so that's what i'm worried about the other issue with this unit is you can only well on global at least you can only get them at 55 percent right now um i have a huge problem with battlefield and why they don't just let you rainbow it right away it's so expensive to rainbow these units that they should reward players that are willing to save up their points to do so. Like most players wouldn't be able to rainbow it anyway. So why not just put all the copies in there? This unit definitely isn't breaking the game right now. Like you're even if he's rainbowed, people aren't running them. Like you're not running Shadow Dragon. So why not just let people rainbow them, right? So this is a 55% showcase. All right. So then we have an active skill. Um, activated after seven turns. So that's only for long events. And then it's key plus seven and all enemies attack and defense minus 30 for one turn. Um, this active skill is literally pointless unless they come out with new content in the game where this can be used. But typically in these long events, by the time you're getting to turn seven, these a lot of these like legendary Goku, legendary Vegeta, like they're basically immune to every type of debuffing almost. Like so I don't know that you're going to get much use out of this. Maybe we'll see. We're going to run le regular legendary Goku event today. Um, but like they typically like to negate things. I like this unit more as like a super battle road unit because you can stun and everything, right? So I kind of wish their active skill was a little bit quicker. If this was like a turn three, then we could say, yes, let's use that in super battle road, really get the attack and defense down. And the thing is, is, you know, you think of, you got the attack down on the active skill, you got the attack down on super. You got to remember, we've got the STR um, Omega Shenron, who's still, his passive is so good with his attack down. So like, there's definitely some power here for super battle road and debuffing. Uh, we just need this team to get built up a little bit, right? So I like haven't invested anything on this guy yet in terms of equips. Um, there's like definitely like once I get more copies, I'll put equips on them because we get free Shadow Dragon Saga equips. So I'll definitely put stuff on them eventually. But there's really no point right now. And then, oh uh, yeah, full level one link. So this is a big bad bosses unit. So what we'll do is we will definitely try to get some turns um, where we're below 80% so we can see big bad bosses. But I'm not going to stress about link leveling this guy right now because there's kind of no point i will eventually link level them though big bad bosses units you definitely need to do that so we're just running a full shadow dragon setup here um i don't know how this happened but i actually found a friend omega shenron so shout out to this guy for having an omega shenron active 
I uh, really appreciate it because I no, this was one I thought it wasn't going to happen. Like I thought I was going to have to go to my Discord and like ask for help, but no, we got it right away. So yeah, this is pretty much. I just wanted to run full Shadow Dragons because they synergize really well. Um, I think they're pretty much all on GT bosses, so uh, they're going to get the GT bosses buff from our unit, right? So we're just going to hop in and basically the thing with this team is like all these units just link so well so it's like you can run the rotations however you want you just got to make sure the omegas aren't touching because they're not going to link together because of the same name but as long as you keep the three so this build has three omegas right you've got the two leaders and you've got the str one as long as you keep one of them floating and you they're not touching each other like this build is fine it's just the team is really outdated right so yeah here's this uh omega shenron about two mil or that might have been Sinchen Ron there, actually, my bad. So about two mil. That Sinchen Ron, like, he's very good defensively. Um, but, like, yeah, he's just sitting there and, like, aging now until you can actually run him on a team. Keep in mind, as we look at stats here, this is a 150. So, like, there is, like, stats on the table, right? All right, so let's look at our Legion of Shadow Dragons. We're at um, only about 100k defense, okay? And there is no attack buffing on super there. But we do get some in the super attack passive here. So we're going to get another 70%. So, yeah, we're going to be looking at about 170k defense. Honestly, that's not fantastic. But if we're thinking of this unit, I think of this unit more as a floating support, not necessarily on rotation. Uh, let's see who we link better with here. Uh, not really linking well with either of these. That's fine. What we're going to do is because um, Nova Shenron is a support, we're going to keep him on rotation. So we're well supported here. Uh, we got some good keys. We are going to see the 18 key super right away. And let's see what we got for an attack set. 55%. Not the best linking. We don't have big bad bosses. Keep that in mind. I would actually take some damage here. Yeah, I'll take some damage. Get me in the big bad bosses right away. Okay, so 2.6. So considering we're looking at this guy being a support unit, we're at 55% and we do not have big bad bosses and we're hitting 2.6. That's actually really good. <laughs> I think that's actually fantastic. So... Uh, this guy like fully rainbowed link level 10 and keep in mind this is a 150 lead right so i don't see why this unit couldn't be in like the four or five mil attack range in like a 170 team rainbowed big bad bosses linked well supported i think he actually could be hitting hard so i think this unit definitely could be an on rotation unit once we get the team um the reason why you know it would be really nice if gt came for anniversary because i think they just need it they need it so they need it fast they need it now um this gt boss is just like i don't know what they were thinking with super 17. he his build is so wonky he supports units that don't he like wants to be with androids but then he's gt bosses leader there's no gt bosses androids it's like what like what is this build <laughs> so i don't know would they they need a lot more support and then like not having the uh, non-fuse 17s not on big bad boss or on uh, GT bosses that really hurt as well, right? All right, so I'm gonna keep STR Omega on road. Look at STR Omega, like he's actually like kind of secretly a pretty good aging unit. Um, he's at 150k defense, which isn't the worst, but like he's doing the attack lowering, right? So this Goku does have his stats debuffed. Um, early on in these events, you definitely can do a little bit of debuffing, which is good. Okay, so what do we got here? Yeah, three mil for this guy. This STR Omega, I mean, he's definitely the best Omega in the game. Not to mention he's supporting full power. Like, and um, I don't know if you want to count it for like looking at him as the best unit in the game, or not the best unit, but like the best Omega. But his sticker effect is really fire. Like STR Omega's got one of the best stickers in the game. Um, I'll maybe show it next turn, but it's very, very, very good. I did a, um, I've done a few sticker showcases on my channel, and um, he's one that we've definitely looked at, and he's looking pretty good. All right, so now. This is going to be pretty much the ideal turn, and we've got big bad bosses, so this is good. So we're going to see, I mean, we almost could end the video here because I think this is going to be the ideal turn. But let me just show you guys this. Like, look at this sticker. <laughs> that is just fire. He's got everything going on there. All right. Don't want to let him steal the show. All right, what are we looking at defensively here? All right, so now we're at 123k defense. So once again, 150% lead. We do have big bad bosses, um, and uh, we are pretty much fully linked up here so yeah he's gonna get 70 percent more on super so now we're gonna be sitting over 200k which i think is very decent and especially good um considering what we are oh here's the thing though the the problem is is i want to get the 18 key super here but it's gonna heal us over big bad bosses it told what i'm gonna do is let's just grab it 
Um, I'll heal over. I'm going to lose big bad bosses here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, we still have it. Okay, it's still giving me big bad bosses. Okay, I'll take it. So maybe we will see the turn here. And what, what do we got? We got five. Yeah, we got five out of seven links. Okay, let's see what we got. I thought I was going to lose big bad bosses there, but we didn't. Okay. So what are we looking at here? Yeah, 3.79. So we are already touching four mil. So <laughs> he's very impressive. Like, he's really good. Uh, once again, we, we just need a team form. We'll, we'll get at least another turn in here, but this doesn't have to be a long showcase. Well, okay, we want to get the active skill, right? So we'll go at least till the active skill, which we're on turn five. So we'll, we'll, we'll have to get him up two more times. So we'll do that. We'll at least go to active skill, then we'll call it a video. But he's looking really good, you guys, because like 3.79, 55%, 150 lead, um, like level one links. Like you got to remember the link levels are on the table as well. So this does motivate me to link level him because I think even if it does take some time for his team to, to thresh out, I mean, let's say, I mean, the card everyone wants is like the Sin Shenron transform into Omega, right? So let's say that's the year four card. They're, you know they're going to make him a 170 GT bosses lead. Like they have to, right? So you, you get that team set up. You know if he's on a big celebration, they're going to have a banner unit that'll be on the team. There's probably going to be some more easy A's like, um, maybe Oceanus here gets an easy A, right? Like something like that. Um, the team's going to be fire. It's going to be looking really good. And this guy is going to be a core, like he's a must run. The Legion of Shadow Dragons is a must run on the Shadow Dragons or GT Bosses team because he's hitting, like it, Like I said, in an ideal situation, if we could have this imaginary like 170 team, he's rainbowed, big bad bosses, all that stuff active, like, yeah, he's going to be five, maybe even up to six mil because we're already touching four mil in this this situation, which isn't like we're really down on, on the low end of his spectrum, right? Like we, we can get a lot better with him. So, yeah, now we're back at 2.5. But remember, now we lost big bad bosses. Um, we didn't have the support on rotation, right? So I think this guy definitely, depending on how the team works out and like what your options are, this guy definitely could be like on rotation. Like I... No doubt. Um, I don't know if you run him slot one um, because he gets a lot of defense on super, but I think he's definitely a slot two or slot three. If the team's good enough that you've got like really good powerhouse rotations without him, then I would just say float him and you're good. And I still think this uh, Nova Shenron here, this tech one, he's worth running as a support. Like his stats aren't great, but like this team has like no support. So like any support you can run, you got to do it, right? And I do like STR Omega as a full power support. Um, the Legion of Shadow Dragons is not on full power, which I kind of wish they were. Like, I, I think they could have justified that. Um, but I suppose, I mean, all the other Shadow Dragons, I guess, if they're not on full power, they can't put them on there. But yeah, look at him at 3.5 on a 150 lead. STR Omega is secretly, like, really good. It's just, he's hard to use because you don't run his teams very often. I know in Super Battle Road, if I'm running a team that he fits on, I always run him because his attack debuffing is so good. So good, his attack debuffing. All right, what are we going to take here? We can take some damage. That's fine. Okay, not not that bad, right? Very good. Yeah, this guy, he's not hitting hard. His defense isn't that great, but he, he's supporting. I mean, I like this guy better than the physical Nova. I didn't even put the physical Nova on my team. They were, like him and the 17, they just were not thinking with those units. All right, we got the active skill here. Um, so once again, this active skill, we're going to get a bunch of key. Let me just refresh myself here. Yeah, and then it's a huge enemy attack and defense buff, right? So on this guy here, I mean, we can't attack debuff, but we can defense debuff. So let's go ahead and uh, knock out the active skill here. Yeah, it's actually been a hot minute since I've seen this animation. You know, not since he first dropped on JP. I mean, it's nice that like with active skills and support memories, like it's ways that they can get more animations in. Yeah, I'll take it. That's nice. I mean, for a free-to-play unit, sure. And then we're definitely going to be busting out full... Uh, we're going to be busting out full key here for sure. Uh, now, this is non-Big Bad Bosses. We're just going to make this the last turn. But I think just, just that turn that we saw, guys, where we saw him touching near 4 mil, I think is a good sign for him that he's going to be fantastic. It's just we need his team to drop soon so that we can use him. He's really, really good. Okay, yeah, 2.7 here. Once again, this is no big bad bosses. So yeah, I think this guy's definitely going to be hovering easily in the five mil attack range. 
and he's looking like one of the better free-to-play units in the game. We just need that team. Because, you know, you think of other free-to-play LRs that are hitting the 5 mil range. We're thinking like Master Roshi. We're thinking like full power, you know, Prime Battle Frieza, like units like that. And I think this guy is in the range while supporting. So I think if he has a legit team, he could be in discussion for one of the better free-to-play units in the game. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the Legion of Shadow Dragons. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all in the next one.